Have you ever wondered how the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco manages to maintain its bright orange color despite the harsh sea salt and foggy weather conditions? In this video, we're going to answer some of the most common questions people ask about painting this iconic bridge. How often does the bridge need to be painted? How long does the painting process take? And what type of paint is used? And perhaps most intriguingly, do they have to start all over again once they're finished? Join us as we take a deep dive into the world of maintaining one of the world's most impressive feats of engineering. Have you ever crossed the Golden Gate Bridge? Let us know your story in the comments section below. Painting the Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is painted orange vermilion, a color that was specifically chosen for its visibility in the foggy conditions that often envelop San Francisco. The bridge is also coated in a protective layer of paint that helps to prevent corrosion from the salt air. But with a bridge as large as the Golden Gate, painting is no small task. In fact, it takes an entire team of painters to complete the job, a process that typically takes three years to complete, and the annual cost of maintenance is a whopping $85 million. So how exactly do they go about painting the Golden Gate Bridge? It all starts with a thorough cleaning of the bridge's surface to remove any dirt or debris. This is typically done using high-pressure water sprayers and sandblasting equipment. But before we go into such details, consider liking the video, subscribing, and hit the bell. So once the surface is clean and dry, the painting can begin. The painters use brushes and rollers to apply the paint, working from top to bottom and from one end of the bridge to the other. The paint is applied in multiple coats, with each layer allowed to dry before the next is added. But painting a bridge of this size and scale is not without its challenges. For one thing, the bridge is constantly exposed to the elements which means that painting must be done in a way that minimizes the impact of weather conditions like wind and rain. Challenges of Painting the Golden Gate Bridge Painting the Golden Gate Bridge is a massive undertaking that requires skill, dedication, and an incredible amount of hard work. But the challenges of painting this iconic structure go far beyond what most people might expect. For example, did you know that the Golden Gate Bridge requires approximately 10,000 gallons of paint for each coat? That's enough to cover about 4 million square feet of surface area. And because the bridge is so large, painting it requires a lot of manpower. In fact, the painting crew for the Golden Gate Bridge includes over 30 full-time painters, as well as a number of engineers and other support staff. One of the biggest challenges of painting the Golden Gate Bridge is simply getting to all of its hard-to-reach areas. To do this, the painters use specialized equipment like cable cars and cherry pickers, as well as a custom-designed traveling platform that moves along the bridge as they work. Another bizarre fact about painting the Golden Gate Bridge is that it never stops. As soon as the painting crew finishes one coat, they immediately start on the next, in a never-ending cycle of maintenance and upkeep. And even with all these precautions, accidents can still happen. In fact, in 1986, a painter on the Golden Gate Bridge accidentally knocked over a can of red-orange paint which spilled on the passing boats and the water below. The resulting cleanup effort took over two weeks and cost over $1 million. Future of the Golden Gate Bridge Over the years, technology has played an increasingly important role in the maintenance and upkeep of the Golden Gate Bridge. Thanks to advances in materials, equipment, and processes, it's now possible to paint and maintain the bridge more efficiently and effectively than ever before. For example, one of the most significant changes in recent years has been the switch from lead-based paint to zinc-based paint. Not only is zinc-based paint more environmentally friendly, but it also lasts longer and requires less frequent touch-ups. In addition, new tools and equipment have made it easier for the painting crew to access hard-to-reach areas of the bridge. For example, the traveling platform that was mentioned earlier in this video is now equipped with a state-of-the-art positioning system that allows the painters to precisely control its movement and position. Another innovation that's being used to maintain the Golden Gate Bridge is advanced monitoring technology. This technology allows engineers to detect potential problems before they become major issues and to track the condition of the bridge over time. For example, sensors are now used to monitor the tension in the bridge's cables and to detect any signs of corrosion or other damage. Looking to the future, there are a number of new technologies that are being considered for the maintenance and upkeep of the Golden Gate Bridge. For example, drones could be used to inspect the bridge more quickly and safely than traditional methods, while virtual reality technology could be used to train new painters and engineers. 
all in all, technology is playing an increasingly important role in the maintenance and upkeep of the bridge, from advanced monitoring systems to innovative painting techniques. As the great architect Frank Lloyd Wright once said, the mother art is architecture. Without an architecture of our own, we have no soul of our own civilization. Let's work together to preserve and protect the magnificent structures that define our civilization. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the world's greatest engineering marvels. Thanks for watching.